Well, hello guys. This is General Mechanics. Um, it's been a minute since I uploaded a video. And uh, today I'm going to do something really, really different than what I've done before. This is my little mower. Uh, it's a total time cutter. Um, the engine was ran with no oil or low oil and the piston rings are gone in it so i've been trying to find it for a little while now and this thing is very expensive if i wanted to get a new one i would pay around between fifteen hundred and two thousand dollars for this crazy little engine so um yesterday going through facebook marketplace i was able to find somebody selling one that had a um had been sitting down for over two years or a year and a half something like that it's a time cutter um that it has the same exact engine in it uh, as you can see it's a fr 691v that's the same engine that came with my mower over there so what i'm gonna do i just came back from two hours away drive um what we're gonna do what i'm gonna try to do is take this engine out of here and put it in that one over there so we'll see how this one comes out or how it goes how much headache i get but at least it's gonna give me some other knowledge that i don't have so hopefully uh if i see anything that i can share with you guys about taking it out i will definitely keep recording and let you know how this thing goes okay i got this engine out i'm gonna tell you something uh you gotta have the right tool though because I was struggling trying to get it done, uh, get them bolts. Only has four bolts, look. One, two, three, and four bolts. Only four bolts hold the engine down. And then you got this little connector, which is all the electricity has. And then it's got a ground that goes like right here. Uh, and that's it, that's it. You gotta disconnect the end from the uh, uh, solenoid. The wire that goes to the starter, you take this little 13 nut off, and then you you took the the starter connection off. Um, these two uh, wires, the, the choke and the accelerator, um, you can get them off with an eight millimeter socket, and that's it. But I'm gonna tell you something: you need a swivel, either for your gun or for your ratchet, whatever you're gonna use, uh, because the the axis. To the bolt in the back is right here um i'm gonna try to show you something right here you see this bolt this metal piece got a bolt one of the four is behind right here so you're gonna need a swivel from here all the way up there and then this one is gonna be easy access uh what size are the bolts they are 14 millimeter uh to take the four bolts out the pto uh, assembly is held by a 5 8 or 16 millimeter bolt which you gotta take that loose i thought this uh pto was gonna be stuck for being sitting for a little while but no it just came right loose so one so five five uh eights uh or uh 16 millimeter bolt four 14 millimeter bolts uh, you gotta take the this uh uh, tensioner I lose by pulling this little uh, spring from this little hole right there uh, off you got to take the uh, deck belt off and that's it that's all it took to get this engine out so what I'm gonna do is get the other engine out and hopefully we can get it running um, we'll see how quick we can get this engine in there okay got this other mower almost ready got the fuel line the fuel line are loose you see this uh i don't know what this is like a vacuum thing um comes from the uh, carburetor or intake right there uh it goes through these zip ties right here it's got three three zip ties one two and three so all i did is uh pull it out hopefully i can slide it back in there take this uh, connector off like i told you on the other mower and it goes right there on this one, I didn't took it out from there. Why? Because it's got like a little um, uh, plastic clip right there holding it on the mower body. So I took it off from the starter. 
I took off the the ground wires right there. And as you can see, one, two, two bolts right there. There's the second one right there. Two, uh, three, and four right there. So uh, we're fixing to get the belts loose. Uh, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. This thing is easy. So let me get this off and hopefully everything goes smoothly like we're planning okay i got this old engine the other one in here you see it's just sitting on it took the original it looks new man I'm telling you do not don't don't let other people use this stuff somebody a guy i know kept it for a minute and i ran it with no oil I told him about it, he didn't even blink about anything. So now look, I gotta get an older engine in my mower is only a year and a half old. And that thing needs rebuilding. So I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back together and we'll see if we cranks up, uh, I'll make a, the final record um, and see how it runs, hopefully it runs. Okay, <clears throat> check this out. It's already on there. We're just gonna try to crank it up and then we're gonna service it. We're gonna put new oil, new filter. Uh, everything is back together except for the guard, the back guard, which is right there. I'm gonna put that on after. We're gonna see if it cranks or not. So, we're gonna see what it does. <laughs> 